Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and tonight I'm going to be building something just a little bit different. Have you been at LARP fighting hard all day, and then gone back to the tavern at night and been faced with a hasty fluoro light that somebody's thrown up to illuminate it? Or have they gone the extra step and gotten paraffin or oil lanterns to make it a bit friendlier? This is my solution for that tavern lighting problem. I have here a really cool candle. Now normally with a candle if you were to go like that it would hurt a lot but this one is an electric candle. That's right it's an LED actually encased in a wax tube that glows and flickers like a real candle. So what am I going to do with this you ask? Well, a number of years ago, when I was a younger, sillier LARPer, so not yesterday, but a while back, I bought a couple of wheels like this. Now, the wheels were meant to be in a wagon, which I'm now going to show you a photo of. And of course, these are made out of light pine and they're only made for decoration. So of course, the first thing that happened was I broke the hubs out of the wheels and then I split the wheels around the rim and it was a never ending repair job. So to cut a long story short, after three years of having them in storage, I've decided to finally use them as a chandelier. Now the only problem is, the wheel is this wide, and the candle is that wide, which is wider than the wheel. Now why is this a problem? Because the on-off switch is below the candle, and what I need to be able to do is pick the candle up, turn it on, and then place it firmly in this wheel so it doesn't fall off when I hoist it up. To my rescue has come these little bamboo cups which are from a um, Chinese restaurant of all places. And the candle pretty much fits in the cup with just a little bit of wobble. The amount of wobble, in fact, that a hair tie will take up. Now, of course, I don't have six hair ties because that would be too easy. So instead I'm going to cut some thin pieces of craft foam and put them in the cups so the cups don't wobble. Also with the cups, they have a lip underneath, which you should be able to see there. And it's luckily six mils. So I'm just going to cut some craft foam circles and fill up the bottom of the cup. I'm then going to screw the cup down to the wheel and be able to pull the candles in and out to turn them on and off. And hopefully it's going to look really, really cool. So I'm going to change camera angles and let's get started. Using a handy dandy protractor, I'm sure these are called a protractor. It's been 25 years since I last used one in school, so give me a bit of a break. I've measured or marked 0, 120, and 240 to give me an even spacing for the chains. Luckily, with this wheel, I've got 12 spokes, so it works out that I have six candles, one on every other spoke. And then in between the candle, well, in between three bits of candle, I'll have the chain. Now, I picked up some actual chandelier chain, cheaply from a second-hand shop, and I'm going to use it. But you could use plastic chain, it's plenty strong enough. I just don't want to have to paint the plastic chain to make it look right, because it always comes in horrible yellow or glaring white. Also, I think this gold coloured chain will burnish and shimmer really well in the candlelight. So my next step is to grab a couple of eye straps or saddles or hasps or whatever you want to call them and I'm going to screw the chain on with these. Now you could just drill a hole straight through the rim and put a bolt through with an eye on the top of it and attach them that way 
but I want this to be able to travel flat in the back of my car without anything catching, so I'm going to just put them on top. So I'm going to screw this together and then hopefully put all the candles in and I'll be able to show you how it looks. This is the cartwheel chandelier finished. It's providing a lovely glow. And I don't know how well this camera deals with the low light. But for a cheap pine wheel that's no good for anything except decorating, and a couple of, you know, cheap candles that are LED, $3 each I believe they were, but it's not a bad little cartwheel. Okay, I'll turn the lights back on and show you the finished wheel in detail. So here is the chandelier in all of its glory with the lights on. As you can see, the center of this wheel is completely trashed and the rim's gonna need a couple of reinforcing screws or it's cracked. But hey, I think it looks pretty good and I'm happy with it. Now on the top of the chains, I put a brass ring and then spliced a piece of hemp rope to it so it looked good. Now if you don't know how to eye splice rope, there's lots of tutorials out there. I suggest you go and have a look at one because knots just don't look as pretty as a spliced rope on this. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, big shout out to Marty who gave me these candles after his pirate themed party. So. He gave me $30 worth of candles, so thank you very much, Marty. And the rest of it, as I said, is some second-hand chandelier chain from a junk shop. Some takeaway food containers to hold the candles in. And an old wheel from a um, cheap shop. And remember, when you're making such a thing, your candles really don't want to wobble. So... What I did with mine was just tape a piece of craft foam to it. So it will come in and out, I can turn it on and off, but when it goes into the holder, it's nice and firm and won't wobble, unlike this camera. So anyway guys, this is Wolf from Armoury Train saying, go out and make something.